Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install High Sierra on VirtualBox using the VMKD file. We're doing an update video because I think out of all the Mac OSs that are out there right now, like Catalina and Big Sur, High Sierra is the one that runs the smoothest and I think more people are interested in this one. Now I'm gonna go over the system requirements so you get a better understanding of what you need to get this up and running. This will run on lower spec PC. So the first thing you're obviously gonna need is Windows 10, uh, a minimum of six gigs of RAM, eight is gonna be better. You only need about 25 gigs of uh, hard disk space. 50 is gonna do you better. Uh, we're gonna need you to download the VirtualBox and extension pack. You'll need the High Sierra VM DK file, the command file and a resolution file. Now we're not gonna leave you hanging. Everything that we're gonna be using is gonna be linked in the description below, as well as a link to our blog at geekrar.com that'll walk you through all the steps. And we're also gonna have timestamps in the description. So if you're watching this video while you're doing the installation and you miss something, you can easily navigate it by jumping back and forward. As you know, not every installation goes through smoothly, whether you're using an AMD chip or an Intel chip, there's various different problems that can come up. We've created a forum in our website, which is forum.geekrar.com, where we're answering a lot of questions, posting files and solutions. Uh, so once again, that's forum.geekrar.com. You can head over there if you're having problems. So with all that out of the way, let's begin our installation. So if you haven't already installed VirtualBox, We'll quickly run through the setup right now, but if you need a detailed guide, you can either click up here for this or check the link in the description. All right, so we're gonna open up our browser. We're gonna go to the VirtualBox website and we're gonna download the version for Windows. We're also gonna grab the extension pack, click on them both. And once we have it downloaded, we're gonna install them. So at the prompt, you can just click on next all the way through by keeping all default directories and shortcuts. We'll click on next, click on install and allow it to continue. And then when it's done, click on finish. Now over here at the VirtualBox manager, we're gonna click on preferences. And then on the left-hand side, we're gonna click on extensions, click on the plus, and then we just need to add our download of extension pack. Click on install, scroll down and then select I agree. Click yes to the prompt and the installation is complete. Click okay and okay and we're done installing VirtualBox. Great, so now we can create our virtual machine. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go to the Oracle VM VirtualBox icon on our desktop that was just created for us. We're gonna open it up and then there's a blue new button at the top. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna give it a name. So we're gonna type in Hi Sierra here and you wanna make sure that you're able to refer this to this name later on because you're gonna be using it for the command files that we'll be running. Uh, the machine folder we're gonna leave as default. Uh, below in the type, we're gonna leave it as Mac OS X and then the version we can leave in there, the Mac OS 1012 Sierra 64 bit. For RAM, we wanna go all the way up to four gigs of RAM. So it doesn't need a bunch, but we need some. So four gigs of RAM is gonna be good. And at the next window, we have hard disk. And what we're gonna be doing is using an existing virtual hard disk file. So we're gonna be selecting it right here by clicking on add and then navigating to our downloads folder where we already have it downloaded. Link is in the description to get your own copy. Uh, so you can add it in here and then proceed on with the installation. So you're gonna click on choose and then you're gonna click on create once we have it selected. And here we are back at the main window. Our virtual machine is here. Uh, you can see that we have a previous version of Catalina in here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shut it all the way down and close out of the VirtualBox machine because what we wanna do is run our command file. And I'm just gonna go over into my downloads folder and make sure I have the command file. Here it is. And these are the lines that we're gonna be running. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna open up our command prompt by going down to the start menu, type in CMD, and we wanna right click on it and run as administrator. It's important that we run it as administrator because we want full access to the VirtualBox. So in here, what we're gonna do is we need to replace these names with High Sierra. So what we're gonna do is a quick find and replace. Uh, so go down to the edit menu, and then let's go down to replace. And we wanna make sure that we're changing it to High Sierra. So we'll put in the replace name here, High Sierra. 
and that's going to be replacing the your VM name. So we'll just put the VM name here. And once we have that typed in, we'll click on replace all. And then you'll notice in the background that all the names have been changed to high Sierra like so. Okay. So we can close out of this. And now we need to do is copy the first one, which is the change directory option. We're going to change directory here. And now you can see we're in the virtual box directory. Oops. And now we're going to highlight and copy all of these lines that we're going to run next. So copy it, go back into the main prompt and then paste it and then hit enter. And there we've made the modifications to the virtual box. Um, so now we can install the high Sierra operating system. So let's close out of all these windows. And now we can start up the Oracle VM virtual box, select our image here. And now we're going to do is change some settings. So click on the settings button. This is where we can make changes to our virtual machine. We only have to do a few modifications here. We're going to go over to the left-hand side and select system and under RAM, we already have it as four gigs, which is great. We're going to uncheck the floppy. And then up at the top, we're going to select the processing tab and we're going to select two CPUs. So we're just going to increase it just a little bit over here and that's going to be fine. And then we're going to change the display on the left hand side, select it, and we're going to increase the virtual memory all the way and max this out as much as possible. For us, it's 128 megs. And basically all the rest of the settings in, in here are fine. So we don't need to do any other modifications. You can see our image is already here. So that looks good to go. And all this is default, uh, unless you have a reason to change it, which I don't see why you need to, you can just click on okay and we can close it out. And now we're good to go. So we can select it and then click on the green start button. And now we're going to start our installation of the operating system inside the virtual machine. So this might take a few minutes for it to boot up, depending on your computer, your CPU, how much RAM you have. Uh, it varies on how long it takes to boot up. We're going to let it run through and we're going to skip the boot up process and get right to the installation window. So here we are at the welcome screen and we're just going to be selecting our region. And we're just gonna just close out of these little windows at the top and scroll down a bit here so you can see properly. I'm gonna select the United States. Uh, you can select whatever country you'd like and then you can click on uh, continue. So we select the United States and we'll click on continue. And it's by default selecting the US keyboard. We can click on continue again. And we're not gonna be transferring anything. So we're gonna leave this default option and we're not gonna be signing in with an ID. Click on continue and then click on the skip button. And then terms and conditions, uh, you might, so you can read through all of this, which is quite a bit, uh, scroll down to the bottom here. Basically when you're done, you click on agree, and then you get another agree option at the top. And now we're going to give it a name. So the full name that we're going to type in is just geek You can put in whatever name you want. This is going to basically be your username, uh, for when you log into the PC, uh, it's automatically going to fill out this field and then you just type in your password. So alphanumeric is recommended. Uh, you can type in whatever password you like and then click on continue. Okay, so here we're going to be selecting the express setup. So we can leave this again as default and click on continue. And you can see it's now bringing us to our desktop and it's loading up a couple last steps here. Uh, so we can click on continue here for the last part of the installation. Let's scroll down a bit and you can just close out of these windows. So right now we have high Sierra loaded on VirtualBox on a windows 10 PC. This is the default, uh, high Sierra desktop. Now, what we're going to do is you can see that this is not filling in all the edges and this is a 720p monitor. So I want to go full screen and allow it to fill the entire screen. So we're going to be running the resolution file now, and I'm going to show you how to do that quickly here. So when we're using the virtual box, it takes up the entire screen and it only takes a few steps and we'll do that right now. So we've shut down everything. We're going to exit out of the virtual box. We're going to go back into our downloads folder where we have the resolution file. In the file, you can see that uh, there's lots of different options that you can switch it to. There's a few examples of resolutions that you can change it. We're using 720p, which we'll be changing this command with. So we're going to highlight it and you can see if you have 1080p or any other resolutions, so you can change it to that. We're going to highlight this, copy it and down at the X, this is where the resolution goes. We're going to paste it in here. And now we're going to be putting in the name of our virtual box in this spot and it's high Sierra. So now we can open up our command prompt. we we'll just go to start, type in CMD, and again, run as administrator and say yes to the prompt. 
We're gonna switch back over to this window and we're gonna change directory. So that's what that first line is for. And now we're going into the VirtualBox directory. And now we can highlight the second line, second line, which is the command that we want to change our resolution for the screen. And um, in here we'll paste it, hit enter, and that's all we have to do. So we can close out of this window, close everything down, and we can start up our virtual machine and we can run it in full screen now. And you'll see that there's a difference in the resolution as we start it up. Now we're back at the login screen, so we're just gonna type in our password and then click on the enter button, close out of these little dialogues at the top and let it load in. You can already see that the screen is larger than it was before. Uh, so it's set up for the 720p resolution. And as we log in, we can then switch over to full screen mode. So we'll just let the operating system load up and get to the desktop. So we're just gonna go to the view menu at the top and then we're gonna switch to full screen mode and then we can switch over here and there you go. So now we have a full screen VirtualBox running on a Windows 10 PC. So this runs very smooth on Windows 10 with the specs that we've given you. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Again, all the links uh, for the files that we used is in the description as well as to our blog and our forum, which is forum.geekwire.com. Uh, please give us a like if you enjoyed the video and you think it's useful. Subscribe if you wanna see us do more installations. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.